Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is going to be about selling gift cards through your business Instagram. So if you've been following this channel, then you, you know, lately we've been going over different ways that we can still move forward in business, different tools that we can use, different resources. And then also I've been going over gift cards because gift cards are definitely a way to still have income coming in. I know there's a lot of people that have had issues with their vendors, a lot of people that have had uh, delays with shipping uh, as far as being able to get like their, their inventory items in time. And I'm not even just speaking as far as the hair industry. I'm just speaking in general. There's people that have reached out to me that watch my videos that don't sell hair, that sell uh, clothes, that sell um, lashes. I mean, just various things. And a lot of businesses have been impacted um, by by just, you know, what's going on right now. And so we're always looking at different ways to still keep our business alive and to still generate income. And gift cards is just a great way to help uh, generate income and also gives your customers an option to still support you during this time and it frees up your cash flow. If you want to know more information about the benefits of selling and offering gift cards, I'm going to link some videos down below because I have made videos about offering gift cards through your website, but I've never made a video about offering gift cards through your Instagram. So if you are interested, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the video. Also, since we're on my Instagram, you might as well head over there and check it out. Be sure to follow me on my Instagram at Bad Chick Hair, and then also like one of my posts. Let me know that you saw this video and that you're showing some support. So pretty much I logged into my Instagram yesterday and I saw a message on the top of my Instagram that says that you can now offer gift cards on your Instagram. And so I clicked it to get more information and I'm like, this is really, really cool. I want to make a video and bring this to my channel so that you all will know as well. So you go into your Instagram and then you go into your settings. And if you scroll down, you'll see an option where you can add an action button. And if you add an action button, you'll get to this page. So as you can see, you can set up an action button to offer gift cards, food delivery, or takeout options right from your profile. So I think this is pretty cool. There's so many different companies that are trying to help entrepreneurs and businesses stay alive and generate income and revenue. And so this is a perfect option for some businesses. Now, if you are on Shopify, um, you do have an option to offer gift cards directly through your Shopify online store, but you don't have to be limited to just Shopify. So if you want to expand or explore um, adding a gift card to your Instagram, you will need to choose a partner um, to offer the products on Instagram at this time. So to get started, you'll need to use one of the partners listed below. So you have Cabbage, Raise, Square, and is it Gifty? I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. If I'm not, leave me a comment and let me know because I want to make sure I'm pronouncing everything right. Um, but you have the option to choose. Now, just looking at the screen, the one that's the most familiar with me is Square. Um, that's the one that I've, I've seen the most. On the screen, you can see that there is an overview so we can get information about gift cards for businesses on Instagram, set up requirements for gift cards on Instagram, and it also goes over details in the setup process. So as you can see, you can set up gift cards on Instagram to give people a way to support your business. When someone taps the gift card button on your Instagram profile, they'll be directed to your partner's website to buy your gift cards. So that's what I was saying just a minute ago. If you already have Shopify, I made a video, like I mentioned, about offering gift cards on your Shopify platform, your Shopify website. And so if you're doing that, that's great. That's actually what I have on my website as well. You may not want to add another partner at this time, um, but you may. So I just, I, I really like providing options. So what works well for one is not gonna work well for all. You just have to really evaluate your business and see what's gonna make the most sense. Um, but I know there may be some people thinking like, hmm, I've, I already have Shopify. I uh, watched the video that you did a few, last week or a few days ago and I added gift cards on my Shopify website. Uh, why should I do this? So I'm just letting you know that you don't necessarily have to if you're already offering gift cards. Even if you're not offering gift cards, you don't necessarily have to. This is just another option. So here on the screen, it's pretty much going over how to add gift cards on your Instagram profile. So you tap edit profile under public business information, tap action buttons, 
Under select a button, choose gift cards. Select a partner to sell your gift cards. If you haven't already set up your gift cards with a partner, follow the instructions on your partner's site. And then um, add the partner link for the gift card service you selected. And then click done. Uh, one thing that I do want to say, um, I'm just going to touch on Shopify once more. Shopify is offering gift cards available to all plans currently before... Um, before this whole pandemic started, you would have to be on a certain plan in order to offer gift cards, but now they're offering gift cards on all different platforms. So if you don't have Shopify, click the link down below. If you are interested in starting a website through Shopify or getting more information, there is a link down below. Choose the plan that works best for you and get started. Now with Shopify, as well as the other stores that we're going over today or the other partners, excuse me, that we're going over today, there are processing fees when your gift card is sold. So we're gonna be going over that in a little bit more detail in just a moment. Now with the other partners, I'm going to click on them so that you can get more information, but you have to pay for, you don't necessarily have to pay for the option to add offer gift cards, but there is a fee on the back end. I'm gonna show you what I mean in just a moment. There's nothing wrong with that because of course, you know, they have to get paid as well to keep the services generating and, you know, to keep the, the their, their business moving forward as well. So I'm going to go over it in just a moment. Um, I do like to go over the pricing whenever I bring you more information. So as you can see, I'm just scrolling down. You can see more information about selling the, the gift cards through their platform. Now, before you do offer gift cards or any other service for that matter, make sure that you're doing your research. I know that a lot of people typically just get, you know, super, super excited and just pounce on the first idea that they that they see or the first option that they see. And I'm not saying, again, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, what works for you works for you. I'm just saying you do want to make sure that you're reading everything. You want to find out how everything is going to work just in case, you know, it's, it's not going to work the best for you. Um, and then you also want to make sure that you understand what you're doing so that you can explain to your customers. There may be customers that may reach out and have questions in regards to what you're offering and you want to make sure that you are the expert. So pretty much with this option, uh, when customers buy e-gift cards from you, um, you pay 2.9% plus 30 cents. So you get to choose the amount that you are going to offer for the gift card. So say someone purchased a gift card for $10 um, and I'm not the best at math, so I'm not even going to figure that out right now. I don't have my calculator open, but you pay the $10 plus 2.9% uh, of that and then a, an additional 30 cents. So um, that's how that's how you pretty much pay for the gift card, which I think, I mean, compared to some of the other... Um, options out there. I don't think that this is too bad, but if you already have a website set up through Shopify, I still think that it may be more beneficial to offer the gift card through Shopify. And the way that I kind of tie it in is I still sell my products through Instagram. I don't have my Shopify connected to my Instagram, but the way that I sell it is I make sure that I'm making targeted posts to my audience so that um, they are aware of what I'm offering. And a lot of times with the post, I'll leave my business number at the end of it, or I'll leave my website or my email address. That way customers can reach out to me. So even if I'm not necessarily getting a like, I can still get traffic to my website and sales based on the posts that I'm making. So if you're offering a gift card on another platform, you can still do that and you can still post on your stories or post on your Instagram. I've been posting on my stories. I just find that a lot of people, more I can I can see the people clicking on my stories. So I've been thinking that a lot of people are kind of, you know, just browsing through stories more so than um, browsing through posts. So I just want to make sure, I, you know, I want to try different things. I want to make sure that everyone's seeing what I am able to offer. So just wanted to say that. Still take a look at the screen. You know how I get. I like to explain different ways and what I'm going through and tie it in with the video. So still look at the screen. It's going over different information for the other partner site. Um, but... Yeah, I just wanted to let you know that you don't necessarily have to take this option to still sell your products on Instagram. Uh, pretty much I have Instagram so that I can continue to grow my, my business, sell my products, and interact with my customers and clients. So I'm just scrolling down so that you can see more information. So as you can see with this partner, there is a 2.5 payment processing charge per gift certificate. So 
2.5% of each gift card that you sell. I don't think that's bad either. You don't wanna necessarily go just for the cheapest option. Um, you do wanna make sure, like I mentioned just a minute ago, that you're researching all the information and that everything is gonna work best for you. A lot of people are looking at different ways that they can support businesses. In fact, I was on Facebook earlier today and uh, one of my Facebook friends is hosting an event. It's a virtual event. And she posted, um, she posted a, a, a post that said uh, someone asked her if her virtual event could be paid for via Cash App. And she told them yes. And she went back to check her Cash App balance. And she had like a, a payment from that, that person for over $2,000. And they didn't necessarily purchase a ticket to her event. They just wanted to support. So there's a lot of people that are looking to support businesses and wanting to help businesses. And although they may not purchase a product at this time or book your service, they may want a way to continue supporting your business without necessarily purchasing a product or a service at this time until things have cleared up. So I wanted to come to you all and let you know another option that is available. I know we've talked about offering gift cards through our online store, through Shopify. We've talked about different things that we can do to keep our business moving forward. And I wanted to bring another option. I'm all for options because like I mentioned in so many videos, I understand what works for one is not going to work for all. And so if this is a, a good option for you, um, you know, definitely do more research and go ahead and get started. I do want to remind you all to head over to my Instagram page. It's Bad Check Hair. Go ahead, follow me, give me a like, show me some love. Let me know that you watch this video. Thanks so much for watching. Again, I really hope that it helped. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.